I just got this electric shop heater in the other day and uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about it and show you the installation uh, and show you some test runs I'm going to do on it. So I think that will be interesting. I got this from newair.com and this is the model G73. Uh, this is It's 5,000 watts and 17,000 BTUs and it's good for a space up to 500 square feet. Now my office space, which is where we're at right now, uh, is a little, it's, a, it's about 525 square feet. Now, this is, since this is good up to 500, it's a bit of a mismatch, but I have insulated walls in the ceiling, so I don't think it's going to be an issue for this heater, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing just how well this works. And I'm not going to make it easy on it either. I'm going to pick a really cold day. It's January here, by the way, in northern Pennsylvania, so I'm going to pick a really cold day to test this thing to see how well it does. Um, so, that's something to look forward to a little bit later in the video. Uh, anyway, I wanted to show you some of, the, some of the features of this thing, and there's a few things about this thing I thought was really cool that I, I wasn't expecting when I got it. One of the things I noticed is when I took it out of the box uh, is it's heavy. I mean, it's not overwhelmingly heavy where you can't easily mount it on the ceiling or wall or whatever, but it does seem heavy for its size. Uh, it kind of got me curious, so I put it on my shipping scale and found out it was a little over 13 pounds. One of the reasons I found out it was a little on the heavier side uh, was because the cabinet here itself is made out of 18 gauge stainless steel. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that's a good thing with a heater because, um, you know, the heating elements will tend to radiate to the inner surfaces of a heater and being that stainless steel is a poor conductor of heat uh, it reduces the amount of heat that will make it to the outside of the cabinet so it will reduce any kind of burn hazard or harm to the paint or anything like that so I think that's a good thing uh, also speaking of stainless uh, if you look in here closely you'll see that component in there that looks like a round it's like a round component it's coiled up now that's the heating element uh, what I was expecting with this heater, like I use, I've always seen on electric heaters, I was expecting a nichrome wire that might be coiled up or a nichrome ribbon or strip that's strung between insulators. I wasn't expecting uh, this heavy duty heating element like that. I mean it's, it's a really good thing. I was pleasantly surprised when I saw it. But what it reminds me of is the heating element like you would see in a kitchen range, an electric, you know, an electric stove. It looks just like that, only it's not flattened on top. It's a tubular heat exchanger or uh, heating element. And there's actually two layers. It's one, it looks to be one heating element, but it has a front and back section. So the, hair, the um, air actually goes through two heating elements before it comes out. And also, the fan in there is kind of nice looking too. It's a, it's a polished fan. I don't know if it's stainless steel or aluminum. It doesn't really matter as long as it works. But it's just, I, I do fabricating so I kind of appreciate finishing touches like that. It just looks nice. Another thing too here, uh, of course, is the louvers like you would expect on uh, pretty much any garage or shop heater. They have a wide range of adjustment here as you can see. Uh, and they're they are uh, loose enough that they're easy to, to adjust, but they're firm enough that they're not going to uh, move during operation, which is, you know, an excellent quality too. Right here is the junction box. Now, uh, with this heater, it's going to be hardwired into a 240 volt circuit. So you'll need to run at least a 10 gauge uh, cable or wire uh, into this junction box using either conduit or some flexible uh, metal armor like Greenfield. If you're not familiar with that term, this is Greenfield here. I'm sure you've seen it before in hardware stores. Uh, it has a thermostat here. It's a real simple control. To turn it on, you turn it on clockwise the entire way and uh, you let it run until it brings the room up to the temperature where you're comfortable. Then you come back to the thermostat and you, and you slowly turn it counterclockwise until the heater just shuts off. And at that point, the heater will take over and maintain that temperature that that is set at. Also with the heater, they gave you some brackets. Uh, of course, the U-bracket here is what this is going to be suspended by. And this attaches with a couple of quarter inch bolts on either side of the enclosure. And I'll show you a little bit more about that during the installation. It's, it's a real easy type of thing to figure out anyways. And they give you another bracket here. This is a wall or ceiling mounting bracket. And I actually measured this and this is 1 8 inch steel flat stock. So it's really heavy duty. It's not going to go anywhere. One of the ways you can attach it, of course, is to the ceiling. 
and the U-bracket attaches like that and allows you um, to swivel the heater in whatever direction you need. And if you put it on the wall, it's the same deal. Allows you to do that. They also give you some concrete mounting anchors uh, in case you have a masonry wall. This comes in handy. I know I don't like working with masonry walls mounting stuff, so this makes the job a little bit easier that they provide this stuff for you. You're still going to need a carbide tip masonry drill. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be using lag bolts to put this into a wooden stud, so I'm not going to need those, but it's nice that they are included. If you want to buy this heater, uh, you can click on the affiliate link in the description and that will take you to the product page for this heater at newair.com and if you put in the promotional code Arnold during checkout uh, they will give you 20% off the retail price. Uh, not only will you receive 20% off but it will help me with my channel and I always appreciate that. So let's get this installed and fire it up and see what it can do. All right, it's finally hooked up. So let's take a quick look at what I did here. I used a uh, 90 degree connector into the green field uh, from the junction box. And that goes up to a um, piece of half inch steel conduit. And then that just goes across the ceiling here over to a junction box. So that was pretty simple. All right, so I guess it's time to fire it up and see how this thing actually runs. That thing puts out a lot more air than I thought it was going to, uh, which is good because it has to go clear across the 24 foot room. It's getting pretty hot now. Okay, that's good. It works perfect. Uh, so the last thing to do now is to run some actual uh, test runs uh, on a cold morning, which uh, the timing is good for this because Tomorrow morning is supposed to be super cold in the single digits. Uh, maybe it might be a high of 10 or 11 whenever I get here in the morning. We'll see. But um, I'm curious to see how fast this will heat 525 square feet of my office. Alright, it's the following day now. And it's just as cold outside as I said it was going to get. Uh, it's 15 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And it is 
it's showing 49 degrees in the shop so it I noticed it has a little bit of lag time for it to respond so that's why I got this thermometer out to as reference and it's showing uh, about 46 degrees right now so there's a little bit of a variation between the two uh, thermometers what I'm going to do now is turn on the electric shop heater and see how quickly it heats up this room from from 49 degrees up to uh, I'll probably shut it off around 68 or 70 degrees room temperature in other words I'm going to use a timer here stopwatch okay I'm going to turn on the heater now and then turn the stopwatch on And here we go. Okay, so let's shut this down now. Okay, I just shut the heater uh, thermostat off just to the point where it will maintain the temperature in this room. Uh, as you can see here, hour and 15 minutes to bring this up from the um, mid 40s up to 68 degrees. It's actually quite warm in here right now. Um, The heater just came on and that tells you just how uh, fast the heat, the heat is being drawn from this room because it is only 13 degrees outside so uh, it keeps, it's going to cycle on and off uh, throughout the day but this thermometer here is reading about 69, between 69 and 70 uh, and this is 68 so so an hour and 15 minutes, uh, this is a lot better than I was getting before I was running those little ceramic uh, heaters and those things uh, are only I think maybe 14 1500 watts it was taking them literally all day like when it was cold outside like this it was taking them all day just to get my shop warmed up and by the time I got it warmed up and comfortable enough to work uh, well I should say my office is my shop not my shop itself it was taking all day and by the time it got warmed up it was time for me to leave anyway I'm really satisfied with this heater. It really got this place warm in a hurry. So this is a, a definitely a welcome addition to uh, my business. Okay, I hope you guys found that interesting. And I will be seeing you next video.